you are joining us for the first time, create a wee bit of space just so you've got some room. I'm Finley, I'm going to lead you through this kids yoga session. Parents, you're welcome to join in. It gets a little bit tricky at times, so feel free to duck out. Now, some of you have done this class with me before. If you are brand new, when you hear these chime, you have to lean forwards and put your head down and be as quiet as possible. So this is part of your training. Let's see if you remember your training. Go forward, head down. Aim to be as quiet and as still as possible and I'll let you know when to come up. I want you to pretend I can see you. Don't come up. Still don't come up. Still don't come up. And then come up. Hello! So we're going to start off. Take your hands right behind you. Put your feet flat. And you're going to lift your bum up. So nice and easy to start off with. Put your bum back down. Lift your bum up. Put your bum down. Back up. Down. Up. Now you're going to turn half circle. So now you're facing the back of your mat. And then keep going in that circle. So you're back facing the front again. From here, you're going to take the leg on this side up and lift it up as high as you can. You're going to keep it there. Bottom's lifting. Keep it there for another five, four, three, two, one. Put that leg down. Lower your bum down. Take a really deep breath in through your nose. Let your breath out through your mouth, lift back up. Take a leg on this side, up, get it right up, lift your bum up, keep it for five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, and then sit cross-legged. Now, you can sit cross-legged like this, or you can do half pretzel, so you're bringing one foot up into pretzel more flexible, maybe you can bring the other foot up into full press. If that's too much for today or it doesn't feel good, do half pretzel or do cross like if that will work fine. Take your hands in front of you. I want you to imagine your hands are covered in water and you're going to flick that water everywhere. So start flicking and then go faster. And now start to lift your arms up. Take them out to the side. Take one arm up, one arm down. And then back around to the middle, and then one arm up, one arm down. Then bring them into the middle. Keep going for another five. Go faster. Four, three, two, one, and then stop. Bring your feet into butterfly. So we call this butterfly because this is like a butterfly's wings. Take a hold of your feet. And we're going to do this using your breathing. Take a really deep breath in through your nose. Bring your knees up. Let your breath out, knees come down. Deep breath in, knees up. Let your breath out, knees go down. Three more times. One. Two. And then three. Easy. Keep a hold of your feet. Lift up. And then start to lean forwards over your legs. Maybe you can get your hands down, maybe your elbows come down, maybe you can get your head down to your fourth. We're doing nose to toes. Take a breath. What does it smell like? Hopefully it's super, super clean. Because if there's one thing I know about kids, they don't always have clean feet. All right, take a deep breath in, come back up. You're going to do banana rocks. I'm going to show you these first. So you need to make sure that you have enough room left behind you. So you need to check and make sure that you do. So I'll show you these first. To do banana rocks, your back is going to be round and the arms are up. And you're going to rock from your shoulders to your bum and back. But we're going to do that 10 times from the count down. So let's start all together. Come back, arms overhead, legs together. Rock from your shoulders to your bum. And that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Oh no, I've got it off camera. Nine, ten, and then come up. 
So you should feel a little bit warmer. If you've been to the studio before, you've done this warm-up game before. So you just need to make sure that you've got plenty of room for this. So I'm going to move some things out of the way, just in case I bump into them. Watch me first. So we're going to be moving around the space a little bit. You'll start walking. And that one's easy, you know how to walk. If you're walking around the space, making sure you're not going to bump into anything. Maybe just walking around your yoga mat. Then, you're going to do down dog walk. To do down dog walk, you're in down dog, you're walking around, arms and legs stay pretty straight and the bum stays pretty high. Then, you can flip that, so we're back in that tabletop from earlier, and you're walking around like that. Now we have one more that we need to know here, and it's called down dog on the hunt. So if you've ever seen a dog when it's chasing after something or like going really slowly, you're going to do that. So you'll be really close to the ground, aiming to stay really low with the arms, really low with the legs, as you creep around, moving super, super quietly. So start walking. So you're going to walk around, making sure you're watching where you're going, so you're not going to trip over anything. If your brother or your sister or your mum is there, you're not going to bump into them either. But you're down dog might get really close. Down dog. Hands down, start walking around. So explore the space that you've got for your yoga today. So you might get to go off your yoga mat. Keep walking. Then flip. Start walking forwards in your foot. So the feet are going first. And then lift your bum up. Practice can you go side to side and backwards. Maybe you can do those circles. Down dog walk. Walk around. Regular walk, walk. So stand up, walk around. Down dog on the hunt. Get low to the ground, arms and legs are bent, moving really slowly, really quietly, as low to the ground as you can, as you travel around your mat. Maybe there are other dogs on the hunt with you. Can you go lower than that? Can you move slower than that? Then walk. So you're back to being a person again. Walk, walk, walk. And then flip. Walk around. Make sure you don't bump into anything. Come back towards your mat. And then put your bum down. Sit, either cross legged. If cross legged is easy, then you're welcome to do half pretzel or full pretzel. Bring your arms out to the side. From here, you're going to bring this arm down and reach the other one up. So stretching as much as you can and lifting up. So you want to get this bit and lift away from this bit. Arm is coming over. Have a look down at the hand that's on the floor. Then come back up. Going the other way, we're going to take this arm down. Hand goes down. Other arm comes up. Stretch as much as you can. Fingers are spreading just like you did when you were doing the flicking of fingers earlier. Have a little look down at your hand. Make sure you're definitely still sitting down so you haven't like completely toppled over and fallen into this. So you're still sitting, just reaching over to the side. Alright, come back up. Relax your arms. Take a really deep breath in through your nose. Bring your shoulders up. Let your breath out, shoulders come down. Deep breath in, shoulders up. Breath out. Deep breath in, shoulders up. And then breath out. Deep breath in. And out. Let's see if you remember your training. You go forward, stay down. So quiet, maybe you change your view. Then come back up, that's enough of that quiet. Now you're going to do something called jumping jacks. Now these aren't the jumping jacks you might have done at school, these are yoga jumping jacks, these are a little bit different. Your hands are going to be flat and the feet are going to go out and in. When you do that, your aim is to make your feet super quiet. Now this is what I usually get. From the kids that come to my classes, and you know who you are, <coughs> you're not going to do that. It's going to be so quiet. Feet are going out and in, really springy, really bouncy. 
and we've got eight of these to do. So, stand truly up, take your feet a little bit apart, maybe as wide as your mat. Hands are coming down, and then start to pop your feet off your mat, and then back onto your mat. So that was one, two, three, four, five, quiet, six, seven, hands flat, eight, and then come into a frog squat. Easy? Too easy? All right. You're going to do bunny hops next step, if that was too easy. To do bunny hops, you're going to be squeezing your feet in. Same thing. Watch me first. So to do bunny hops, you're going to hop your feet up. And squeeze your feet in towards your belly. So it doesn't need to lift up very much. So your aim is your feet land really quietly. You're going to do, hmm, I think five of these would be really good. So hands down. You're going to get your shoulders above your hands. And then you're going to hop. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, it's getting warm now. Have a little sip. Now, especially if you've been to my class before, I want you to yell at the TV or the screen if you know what this is. So this is called a breathing device. When it opens, you'll take a deep breath in. When it closes, you'll let your breath out. But if it stops, you'll stop. Let's see if it works. It looks like it works. Let's see what happens. You don't get to work anymore. You're going to go over there. Okay, so you can breathe normally again. Phew, it's getting quite difficult. So what you're going to do this time is you're going to come into frog. To do frog, you're going to put your feet flat, toes point forwards, and then sit into this so you can either have your arms on your legs. If this is difficult, take the feet out. If it's really difficult, you can do it with your heels up. Just be aware we're going to be walking around a little bit. Now, this is where you get to choose what type of monkey you want to feel like. So you might be a hands down on the ground kind of monkey. <laughs> you might be an arms on your legs type of monkey. You might be my favorite type of monkey, which is the arms up, waving the hands in the air like they've just stolen a banana monkey. Start walking around your space. I'm expecting the arms to be all over the place, so maybe you're a hands down type of monkey. Maybe you're an arms on legs type of monkey. The aim to move around. Have you tried going backwards? Try going backwards. It's a little bit harder with the hands up. So move around, move around, move around. And sit down. Usually, when kids come to class, I get them to show me poses. So if you know this pose at home, you're welcome to start it already. We're going to be doing dolphin but with one leg up in a scorpion tail. Watch me first if you're new to this. To do dolphin, the elbows are down, knees lift up, and then lifting one leg up, bending that leg in the air. Maybe you can look over the other shoulder and see your own leg. So let's do this all together. Come down, clasp your hands, elbows down, and then tuck your toes between your bum up. Make sure your head is on the floor, elbows down. Take the leg on this side, up, and bend it. See if you can see it over your shoulder. And we're going to hold here for a little bit. So if you've already done it, come back in. Keep going for another five, four, three, two, one. Put that leg down. Lift the other leg up. Look over your shoulder. See if you can see your foot. If you can't see, you can really look over that shoulder. It's definitely there. Is it there? Or you can go 
over the wrong shoulder. Hopefully you lift it over the wrong shoulder. All right, put that foot down and then sit down. Next one is similar. It's called King Cat or Queen Cat. To do King Cat, we're going to see, let's do this together. Come onto your hands and your knees. Make sure you're looking forwards at the camera. Take the leg on this side, out to the side. Take the arm on this side, the other side, out to the side. You're going to lift that same leg up and bend it. Then you're going to reach the other arm to this arm to take a hold of your foot. Now it's wobbly, but I can only imagine to be the king or queen of cats, you would have to have very good balance. Now lift that leg up. Real steady. See if you can balance. You're going to keep a hold. Head is up. Because otherwise your crown will fall off. Then let go of that without falling. Put that hand in the cat. Oh, that's a lot of finger So you're going to take the other arm out to the side. Other leg is out to the side. Make sure you've got space. Lift that leg up and bend it. The other hand, opposite hand, comes back to hold your foot. Lift that foot up. So you're looking forward, making sure you're not wobbling around too much. It might be a bit wobbly though. But then see if you can see forward. Alright, let go of that leg and arm. Make sure you don't fall. And then come back. Sit up. For this bit, you're doing dinosaur walking. To do dinosaur walking, we have to stand up first. So stand up. Watch me from the side first. So the legs are going to stay straight. Your hands are going to be somewhere on your legs. Maybe they're all the way down at your ankles. If you can't get them past your knees, bend your knees so you can get a hold really low down. You have to look, watch where you're going. So get into this part first. So hands are down on your legs. And then begin stomping around. So legs are staying either as straight or as bent. And you're really stomping, but hopefully not too loud. I really hope the parents are doing this as well, because that would be gold. <laughs> keep walking, keep walking. Now, go backwards. That, oh, that's actually quite difficult. So <laughs> definitely going backwards. All right, now come back towards your mat. Get walking towards the middle of your mat. And then put your knees down. Oh, difficult, really difficult. Take your hands, put them on the floor. I hope you lift up so you're kneeling. Toes point back, lift your knees up, and put them down. So it's really easy. Stay facing forwards. So you can put your knees up, put them down. Knees up, put them down. See how high up you can get your bum. Mm -hmm. And then come back. So still staying with the toes curled. You're going to do that mm, six more times. One, two, three. Now make them really small. Four. So you're tucking your head in. Five. Six. Okay. Sit with your legs forwards. So we need to know how to play this next game. It's really easy. It's called straddle, tuck, pike. You have to say them at the same time as I do them. Straddle. Say straddle. Tuck. Say tuck. Pike. Say pike. So now you're going to do them with me. Tuck. Pike. Hopefully you're still saying it. Straddle. Pike. Tuck, pike, straddle, tuck. Now you don't need to say it anymore. You're going to get a little bit faster. Pike, easy. Tuck, pike. Tuck, straddle, pike, straddle. Tuck, straddle, tuck, pike, tuck, pike, straddle. How are you doing? Pike. Tuck, pike, straddle. Pike, straddle, tuck. Easy so far. Now we're going to do it upside down. Watch me first. So you need to make sure you can get your hands underneath your back. So just like that, or on your bum. And this will help lift you up a little bit. When you do it, make sure you don't turn your head. You don't want to hurt your neck, so you can still do all the legs. Watch me first. 
to be rocking, lifting up into a little shoulder stand, and then doing hike, tuck, straddle, and I'll let you know what to do by telling you what to do. All right, your turn. Come on back to rock up. Parents, make sure you can get your bum up so you can see if they can rock up. If not, they can lie down on their back and do this. Pike, leg straight. Tuck, make sure you don't hit yourself in the face with your knees. Straddle. Tuck, pike, tuck. Straddle, pike, straddle, tuck. Straddle, pike. Tuck, pike, straddle. Pike, tuck, pike, straddle, tuck. And then come back up to sit. Did you get it? Did you take out the pocket table? Okay. Now the next bit, we're going to still be in that shoulder stand. If you were doing a line on your back, that's fine. But this time we need to do something new. We're going to do a straddle, which you know. We're going to do twisted root, which is when you wrap your legs up. So while you're sitting just now, put your feet forward, and we'll do this one. You're going to take this leg out to the side, cross it over the top of the other one, and then slide your foot behind your other leg. So this is called twisted root. Let's do the other leg. So the leg comes out, up and over, cross that foot under so you can hide your own foot, and then undo it. Now there's one more move, so that is straddle. We've got the twisted root. Now we need to know helicopter. To do helicopter, you're going to be in straddle with your legs, but they move all the way around. Watch me first. If you don't have space, you can do this with your legs, but so watch first. So you do shoulder stand, straddle, twisted root, legs wrap, then helicopter legs all the way around the twisted root on the other side. Then you have to helicopter all the way back to straddle before coming all the way down. Now I want you to make sure you don't rush this. So we're going to do it as you hear me. Okay. So we don't rush, and we want to make sure that it's really smooth, really clean looking. All right, so start sitting, come down onto your back, from here, rock up so you get your bum up, do straddle, spreading your toes, twisted root, cross the legs, so you can cross halfway, and maybe you can get that foot to go behind your calf. Helicopter, open the legs up, take the legs all the way around in a big circle, and then wrap the legs the other way so you're back in twisted root. Let's do all of that one more time. Helicopter, back through straddle, twisted root. Helicopter, back into straddle, back into helicopter, into twisted root. Undo that, bend your knees, and then roll all the way up from there. Easy? It's okay, we got it, we got it okay. So on the next bit, come down onto your tummy. Once you're on your tummy, prop up on your elbows so you look really keen. So we're going on a boat adventure. Now, I don't know about you, the last time I was on a boat it was real choppy. And I've heard the weather, it's going to be real choppy for this one too. Bend your legs, reach back and grab a hold of your feet. Once you've got your feet, lift them up. Oh, at the minute. The boat's in the port, it's not too choppy. Maybe there's a little bit of movement forwards and back. Not too choppy so far. Now we're heading out onto the open seas. The choppiness is getting a little bit faster. So this time, your boat's going to tip all the way over to the side. Ah. Stay so you can keep a hold of your legs. Now, luckily, thank goodness, your boat has something in it. Brings it back up. Whoa. Then go the other way. And then it brings you back. Now you get to go two more times in each direction, but it doesn't matter if you go left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, or left, 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 right. So you're going to go four more times. As many times as you want. Well, as many as you want. Well, more than one time. And then come back and then relax. Bring your hands under. Bring yourself up. Now, your boat has gotten somewhere much different to wherever you are. This is a very, very hot place. Now, what we've noticed as soon as we've arrived, the trees look real different. And you've noticed that there is something called a walking tree. 
So part of your homework in this class is to look up what is a walking tree, and then you can always write to us and tell us what you found out. The walking tree is a tree that as it starts to lean, it sends down roots, and then as it starts to sense water moving, it starts to move in the direction of that. Puts down new roots, starts leaning, puts down new roots, starts leaning, and it slowly, slowly starts to bond there over the course of a few years so it can get closer to water. So we're going to do something like that. So you're going to be the walking tree. So stand up, we need to make sure you know what the tree is first. Take the leg on this side and bring it up either the foot onto your lower leg, or you can bring it up. So this is your tree. Okay? You got that? Alright, we're going to do the other side just to make sure you've got it. So this leg, bring it up, either up high or down low. It is a balance, and then put it down. Now what's going to happen? I want you to go to the very back of your mat, so you're as far away from the screen as possible, and I'm going to turn around, and when I turn back, I want to see only trees. But you have to get to the very front of the mat. So, for example, a tree comes forward, and a tree comes forward, and a tree comes forward, and then I turn around. I need to stand really still as a tree and not move. And then when I turn back around, I'm going to creep back forwards, creep back forwards, and then I turn back around, you to be a tree again. So, Go to the back of your mat, no cheating. Start walking. I'm not sure if I saw a tree moving. I think it's time to not be a tree anymore. So for this one, you need your big brother, sister, your little brother, or your little sister, or your mum, or your dad, because you're going to be doubling up with this one. This is called double boat. So I've got Alan to help me out with this. What you're going to do is you're going to sit facing each other. You can do this along with us. So sit facing the person you're working with. You're going to go foot to foot. You don't want to be so close that you can barely move, but you don't want to be so far away that you can't reach either. So we're going to take a hold of the wrists, all right? Because you need to make sure these hands are washed. And then you're going to take one leg up, and then the other leg up, and then able to sit up there. Now that we're here, the balance might be easy, it might be difficult, you might fall over a hundred times already. So Alan's going to lean back, and it pulls me forward a little bit. Then he's going to lean forward, I'm going to lean back a little bit. We've got this seesaw. You don't want to pull too much. We're going to do one more back. Forward, and back. Lovely. How are you doing so far? You can always get mom to help, or dad to help, or whoever is helping. Now you're going to bring the leg that's nearest to the screen down and to the outside. So remember that straddle? Then the other one down to the outside. So it's in a straddle. Now you're going to keep a hold of one hand, the hand nearest to the camera, like oh. So you open it up. You can wave bye. Up, and then bring it back. <gasps> We sit on back, make it marvelous. Oh, hi. Hello. Bring it back. All right, now the difficult bit. You're going to keep a good hold, start to take the feet out to straddle. Now, if your legs are smaller, I've only got little legs. So you can bring your legs to the inside if you're smaller or the other way around. Now, this is called the washing machine. So, what we're going to do is holding on to hands, you're going to start to make slow circles. So the washing machine is just getting started, it's nice and slow. So now the spin cycle is getting a little bit bigger because we've got some dirty clothes. So we're going to go a little quicker, a little quicker, and then really going into it so that you're leaning forward and back and making really big circles. Maybe you end up with your back on the floor. <laughs> you're going all the way around the end. Look at that That's a big stretch. It's a big stretch. If you're doing it to the ground, just be gentle. Because <laughs> otherwise, they're not going to be very happy with you after this one. Alright. Oh, okay. The washing machine is done. Say thank you to your partner. Thank you. Goodbye. <sighs> okay, let's see if you remember your training. So, those of you that come to my classes, don't worry. The class isn't over. We're just going to see if this works. Come forward. You've been a boat, you've been so many things. We still need to be a panda though. 
to bring yourself up. Thank you for being quiet. Bring your feet together for back in bucket time. And for this, you just need to do a little check to the sides. So you don't get anything to bump into. Look behind you. There's nothing to bump into either. And you're going to hold on to your feet. Now, don't let go. We're going to start to lean this way. Lean onto that leg. Then start to roll it backwards as you should end up facing the back of the mat. Keep leaning that same way. Go all the way around. Did you make it all the way back? I'm kind of not quite all the way back. I'm kind of over here. Now I want you to keep going around in that direction until you are straight back forwards. So keep going. Keep making those circles until you can get all the way back forwards. I am going further away than when I just started. Keep going. So these are panda rolls. They're good fun, but I'm not getting any closer back to where I started. Maybe try going back the way you came. So go the other way. Roll around. So you're making these big circles. Oh, that's better. I'm almost home. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm all the way over here. Oh, well, I'll just walk back. <laughs> not everything works the way that we think. All right, now. The next pose is a balance, so just like we did before, you need to make sure that behind you, there's nothing that you're going to bump into. The kids that I teach have named this the footy crown. Take your hands, clasp them, and take them underneath your feet. Bring your feet back, and then lift your feet off the floor so you're balancing on your bum. Then lift the feet up so they're the same height as your chest. Then lift them up so they're the same height as your face, so you get a good look at those feet. Then see if you can bring the feet in. Maybe they can sit on the front of your head like a little crown. So this is the footy crown. If you've fallen backwards, falling forwards is a little bit easier. So you can always come down and try and give yourself a footy crown that way. Because we're going to use this in a wee second for quite possibly the most famous kids pose of all time. So feet are up, feet are up. Right now, keep a hold of the feet if you're balancing. Take them out and so it could be bent legs. This one is super wobbly. It's way more wobbly than footy crown. Maybe legs are straight and straddle. If this is too easy and you're sort of sitting there going, it's too easy, rock a little bit from side to side and see if you can do it without falling over. That's a little bit trickier. Ooh. Makes me nervous. I'm hoping that everybody's TVs are glued to the wall. All right, bring the legs up. Now what you're gonna do, the next pose is called tortoise. Move the feet further forwards. So what do you know about tortoise? You've got a shell, you can go inside that shell, so that's what we're gonna do. So this is a shell. I want you to bring your arms, and bring your hands together. Bring your knees up a little bit, and you're gonna bring your hands into the middle, widening your legs and slide them underneath. From here, the head is coming down. Now, you might be able to tuck your chin and get your head fully into your shell. You might have your hands here, and that's fine. So see what feels good. Then, bring yourself up. What I want you to do this time is you're going to see if, so you're going to stay facing forwards, you're going to see if from the tortoise, maybe you can take the hands Behind you, so I have to lift my bum up a little bit, and then the other one, and then you move forward that way. Maybe it feels a little bit different because now you've got flippers at the front and flippers at the back. So now anyway, you wouldn't get very far if you had those flippers at the front and one flippers at the back. Let's stay forward. Oh. All right, come up to there. Oh, that's a toughie. Where you are going next? So this next one is a firm favourite in our kids' class. You're going to see how it goes. Start in that front squat from earlier, so your feet are down. Maybe you're up more here, so you put your elbows down. You're going to put your hands down to the inside of your toes, so your fingers and toes are in a nice straight line. Try to walk your feet in front of your hands, and then walk the feet in towards each other. Can you get your feet to touch? Can you get your feet to cross? Can you get your feet 
to lift off the floor. That's a little bit tricky. Do you get it? Are you up for a second? That's enough, more than that. Right, put your butt down. Whoa. Are you warmed up yet? I hope so. Bring your legs in, put your feet back, and then stand up. So we're going to do a bit of balance here. So for airplane, you need to be near the front of your mat, making sure that there's room behind you, making sure there's no space to the side. So if your brother, your sister, your mom, your grandma, your auntie is there, you're just going to make sure that one of you is forward and one of you is back. Take your arms out to the side. From here, bend forwards. And you're going to take a leg on this side, back. So you're doing a single leg balance and loop forwards. So arms are up to the side, now your airplane might start to turn a little bit. Maybe it goes one way, maybe it goes the other way. See if you can, ooh, see if you can stay balanced. To see if you can balance, look straight down. To help with the balance, scoop your chest forwards. All right, bring that leg. Shift the weight onto the other foot. We're gonna take this leg back, go forwards. Look forwards, and then see maybe arms are coming down, maybe coming down on the other side. See if you can stay balanced. Chest up. Keep balancing for another five, four, three, two, one, and then put that foot down. All right. Pop your feet a little bit further apart. Hands are going to come out to the side. Now you're going to wave this arm. So wave it. Make sure you're waving it, and then bring it down onto the ground. The other arm is going up, so you're being a twisting triangle. So when you look at the screen, do you see those triangles made with my arms and with my legs, and then a straight line going up? Hopefully you're doing the same. If it's difficult, just bend your knees. All right, now you come all the way back up to standing, arms out. Wave this arm this hip. This arm is going to come down. Have a look, maybe you can make those triangles, maybe you can look at your own legs. You see all that we have. Okay, nearly there. From here, bring hands down. So this is straddle. What I want you to do is line up your fingers and your toes, and then let your head come down. So head is on the floor, and your arms lean forwards. See if you can poke your bum up towards the ceiling a little bit more. Stay here. All right, now, start moving side to side, so arms and legs are moving side to side. Your bum is probably going to move from side to side, just so we can take care of anything that maybe felt tight in the back from what we've been doing, because we've been working hard. We've been doing a lot of stuff today. And then bring yourself back. Put your hands down. Now, you're going to make your way back into butterfly, so you're going to be sitting. So you can do that as a step, so you can do step, 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 step. You can do it as a hop, or you can slide your feet forward and sit down that way. Sit in butterfly first, then take the legs out to straddle, so you straighten the legs, toes point up. Take your hands forward, take a really deep breath in through your nose, toes point up, so making sure they're there. And then start to walk forward. This is a tough pose. So I thought we'd finish with a difficult one. If it's easy for you, maybe you're down on your elbows wondering why everybody finds it difficult. Lucky you. Maybe you can go a little bit further. And from here, hands are going to go over to this leg over here. So walk your hands around. Take one hand to the other side of the leg and really look at that foot. So if I said, email me in a beautifully painted drawing of your own foot, it would be marvellous. Because you've looked at your foot for so long, you'd be like, this bit is green, this bit is completely green. All right, come back in through the middle. I'm really hoping you don't have green feet. Take your hands over to the other side. Walk around, walk around, hands either side. Take a really deep breath in and have a look at this foot. Mm. Is this one blue? Hopefully it's not blue. So not blue, not green. Lean over that leg. Stay green. Stay 
really quick. And then from all the way out, you're going to sit with your legs crossed. We're going to do one more down. Because you know exactly what to do by now. So we're gonna dig. Do the four loops. Maybe it feels easier to do four loops like this. So all the work that you've done today is good. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna stay really quiet. You're gonna bring yourself up. And you're gonna close your eyes. With your eyes closed, I want you to really think about what your favorite pose was today. Maybe it was style, twisted knee, maybe jumping jacks. So think about what your favorite pose was. And in your head, I want you to imagine that you could yell it to me inside my head. So as if I could hear your thoughts and you're sending it to me. So I want you to send me that. And with your eyes still closed, get really clear on what does that pose look like? What did it feel like? Was it funny? Was it jumpy? Was it quiet? Was it calm? Was it coaster flow? Was it para? What was it? I want you to bring your hands together. Open your eyes. So at the end of class, we say one special word together. We say the word namaste. So bow forward, say namaste.